welcome to another tutorial in uh, this uh, part two of this tutorial um, we will be going over making a pair of trousers for our character so let's jump into it uh, so we've got the window open and um, this is this um, file here you can find um, I'll leave, leave a sub uh, I'll leave the link in the subscription actually I'll probably make the trousers leave that link so you can get the trousers as well in the subscription and if you want to go check out how to make the top we're pretty much going to use the same techniques but um, if you want to know how to make a top um, you can go back and watch the part one for that so this is part two um, you pretty much move that over we don't really need that there for now All right. um, I'm going to turn on oh well okay yeah. Um, I'm going to turn on um, screencast keys so you can see what um, shortcuts I'm hitting. We're pretty much going to do exactly the same what we did with the um, top t-shirt or whatever you want to call it for the legs. So we'll make sure we're in object mode. We create ourselves self a cube. And we're going to bring this up. Like so, go into edit mode, scale. Oh, actually, hang on. Undo that. Uh, okay, delete that. I don't know what's happening there. All right, make a cube. Go into edit mode. I need to bring this up. The reason why I'm putting it in edit mode is so if you want to make it um, so it's in Unreal and stuff, the origin is still going to be the center. Maybe it isn't the best idea, maybe it's a good idea to move the arm up, but the, the legs up, but hey, we, we're doing it like this. Uh, and we're going to pretty much scale this up along this set. Going to wireframe, you know, scale that up a little bit more, so it's like so. We will just have it a little bit below the t-shirt, um, for now. And what we're going to do is pretty much, uh, actually no hang on, what I want to do actually, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here, we want to bring this down below the um, crotch area, and we will move these ones over like so, and we will get out that through and we will select this face here on top and we're going to extrude this up like so that's below the t-shirt going in and slide through right. and pretty much now what I'm going to do is add a loop cut here where the knee cap is move that over like so um, I'm going to move over the move the front over a bit as well, so it's actually encasing the leg. Uh, we can move this up a little bit. We want it about and get some t uh, trousers to kind of come down to there anyway. So I'm just rough roughing it out, you know, overwheeling it out. Not really going off any concept except from the character here. You can get hold of that character in part one. All right. So pretty much that is all we need we're going to add a mirror modifier and we are going to add a um, shrink wrap modifier as well we set the shrink wrap to be the same as our character um, you might want to actually add a loop cut along here oh and a loop cut along here so we actually have some more definitions uh, so I can make a bit more of a cylinder um, shape so we're going to pretty much apply our shrink wrap modifier oh actually maybe not we might want to undo that okay no. Okay, I'll just chuck another one on there and set that up. Alright. 
you can kind of see, uh, you can't really see with that, alright, you can kind of see here, kind of going down in the leg area where you don't quite want it going. So we're going to pretty much bring this part up like so, and we'll, we'll, we'll sort of the details out a bit later, so we're just getting it generally up there, so it isn't kind of sticking half in his leg like so. Um, okay. Now we're going to apply the shrink wrap modifier. We're going to hide our base mesh for the character. As you see, we kind of got an ugly pair of trousers, but you can kind of see they look like trousers. Um, we will turn off our mirror modifier. We will, if this thing was in the right place, what needs to be over it. We're going to tidy up um, the topology a little bit as well. We're going to delete the faces here. Delete. Uh, we turn on move modifier back on, turn clipping on. Uh, so if we select all of that, now if we move it, yep, okay, it's clipping. That's making sure it's clipping at the moment. Um, down here I'm going to be selecting all of these make sure I'm in wireframe mode so I can actually select them properly Z0 like so same thing for the knee joint um, there's some weird stuff going on up here so maybe we just tidy this up a little bit so actually what you call it so clipping is it clipping yeah clipping that's a word uh, yeah, I'm not that great with the terminology of 3d modeling because it changed from each application you use and I'm still somewhat new to blender even though I've been using it for about two years more like a hobbyist but still Right. We're going to turn our base mesh back on a little bit, right. and what we're going to do now is pretty much actually select these ones. Actually, deselect I think because I already have apps I've selected. Rotate these along. I believe they're along the Y, like so, because that's where the knee joint is. Um, I'm going to add a loop cut selection above and below it, so if we want to animate it, um, it's going to be set up to animate. You know, it isn't going to deform too badly. Right. So we add a loop cut there, and we add a loop cut down here as well. We can also add a loop cut here, scale that up a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little. So it kind of gives the definition of the ma muscle area. Alright, so I'm going to scale that down. So uh, then also rotate that along the Y. And then scale this one up. Probably should have done this, done that with this one here as well. So at Z0 rotate along the Y like so uh, scale that up a little bit because it's looking a bit different uh, and the one in the middle we're going to try and bring that down a little bit more rotate that along the Y that bring it down a little like so scale that in a tiny amount move this over uh, now we're going to pretty much do the same for here. Like so, so scale that along the Z. Oh, don't want to scale that again. Um, rotate along the Y. Move it over. Scale it up a little bit. Oh. So just get it about there. And it's kind of deforming a bit there, so we're going to have to bring this stuff over. Like so we go along we go on the side through so we can 
move this stuff back as well to make it more in the general area where it would be. Actually, it probably could do, actually do loop select. Be a lot easier. Right, like so. I'll bring this back. And I think this is the last loop. Um, we can actually bring this loop forward a little bit. Alright, so now if we come out of that, come out of wireframe mode, now if we hide our base mesh, you can kind of see it's looking a bit more leg like. Um, I'm guess to me it it don't it looks a little bit off. I want to kind of select this loop here if it lets me. Bring that back a little bit because that looks a little bit more legit to me. I don't know. I am not very good with anatomy or anything like that. But that looking a little bit better for me. Um, we can also want to tidy up a little bit, so we select this loop here. Uh, okay, that's going to be alright. Actually, we just need to move the bottom part, that, um, the bottom part down here a little bit. So we're going to move this over, bring that back, uh, move this one forward a little bit, bring it back. Like so. Um, over here, we're going to want to move that forward, move it back a little bit. Bring it in. Just tweak it till it kind of equally spaced and looking alright as well. So move this over like so. This one can move over a little bit. Let's select uh, actually we'll select these ones over here uh, to here. Bring that in a little teeny bit, teeny bit, not too much. Bring it in a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it would just bring the bottom bit in a little bit. Like so. Okay. Alright. So. Looking a bit funny around here. Um, I guess what we could do. Take clipping off. Select. And move that out. Do a loop selection around here. Extrude that out a little bit, like so. Apply clipping. Oh, apply clipping. Select everything. Put them back together so they clip in now. Okay. Well, about there in a way, and I'm just bring these in, like so. I don't want them parts clipping. <laughs> They're selecting the wrong ones, but hey, oh. uh, we'll get there. Probably going to want to add like another loop cut down here a little bit. Alright. Uh, I'm going to select these ones. Bring them down slightly. Uh, and now we're going to go on face mode, hit O, select this part, and we'll bring it out a little bit. Uh, no, maybe select this part and bring that out, like so. Uh, we're going to hide everything else, what we're not working on. Right. And we're going to select all the faces up here. 
make sure I hit O again to come out of that uh, mode. Um, it's said zero, so that flattens that up. Uh, we will hit. Okay, hang on, we've got some topology we need to fix up here. That's probably go on to edge. Um, not edge. Uh, vertex mode. Selection and to bring them in to fix it. Just clear, that, clean them up a little bit. Like so. Alright. We probably actually got some stuff, same stuff happening. Yep, down the bottom. Um, so we're going to select the faces again. Select all the faces up here. Turn its t-shirt back on. Um, we're going to hit Actually, do want to scale that out first? Uh, okay, yeah, actually here again. Um, select the front part. So we kind of line this up a little bit with the t-shirt. Like so. And the same for the back. Just line that up like so. Uh, okay, we've got these parts around here we can kind of line up a little bit as well. We could bring these parts in a little bit. No. Oh. What are you doing? Alright. Let's fix these up a little bit. Like so. Alright, so that kind of matching up with the t shirt a bit now. We hide the t-shirt again. Now we're going to hit O, come out of that mode, select the faces along here and along here. We're going to hit I, scale with them. No, hang on. We're going to hit E, enter, scale them in. E, enter, uh, move them out. Up, yep, move them up like so. Uh, if we turn that on, you can see it's inside that um, hole we made to first start with. Um, you're going to select the selection around there, you can get them out a little bit like so. Um, go on to one. Oh, yeah. one five zero. It also, I believe, scaled it along the sets. Said, is it said? Yeah. So we want to scale that down along the set. Right. So. Um. But pretty much, we're going to move these up a little bit more as well. Move them up to the. Top line there, like so. Turn t-shirt off again. Come out. Alright, cool. Uh, move that forward a little bit. Alright, and now for the uh, feet, we're going to pretty much um, fix this topology up a little bit as well. Uh, the one I want to select. Yep, that is it. Alright, just hit a uh, full stop. It kind of, if if you have something selected and you hit full stop, it kind of zooms in on it and allows you to rotate around it nicely again. If things are being messed up, um, we're going to select these. We're going to hit E, zero, enter, scale them in. We're going to hit E, zero, enter. And we're going to move them up. So we've got somewhere to put the foot. If we're going to add a foot. Or well. Or part of the foot. Or part of the sock. Uh, then that can go into the shoe later. Um, we're going to. Loop select. These faces. Let's just go with them in a little bit. 
like so. I can hit one five and zero and actually bring that down to here. And we still got a point up here, so we're going to just drag that point down. Like so. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to get that. Right, because you're not gonna really even see it anyway. Alright. And now we can select everything, do uh, click on this tab over here, do smooth, and you can kind of see what the trousers are going to look like. Um, what we're probably going to want to do as well is go on the face selection, uh, hit O, um, hit, uh, it got BF, no, okay, not going to BF, I actually want to move that just to make sure, it, hit O again, making sure I'm not breaking anything all right okay so make sure you hit O uh, select the part you want to move hit F oh no okay you do scroll okay you scroll um, so I'll do that so you kind of want to deform it a little bit now to make it look like it a bit bigger from the character we'll just kind of bring it out a little bit you know make it a bit more trouser like instead of human leg like so we kind of puff it up a little bit in certain areas, you know. Like. Don't move them back a little, like so. Okay, that looking like it's been puffed up a little bit. Uh, we probably could do the same with the back piece here and just move it out a little. You don't want to overdo it here. Just getting the base mesh in. Um, now what we could do is add a subsurf modifier. See what it's going to look like. Um, going to be looking like that. We can. Uh, we, what we're going to want to do is add a multi-resolution modifier. So we get that uh, subdivided it by three. I like the seams of um, down here. You can't see it looking a bit funny. If we apply our mirror modifier, okay, it gets rid of that line. Um, have we got any bad topology as well? I do, I'm using this uh, plugin called MeshLint. It detects if there's any bad topology, and there's no bad topology. Um, and you can kind of see actually, it looking really thin here. It should, I mean, so we're going to want to pull that down a little bit. So we're going to here. Um, actually, I'm still in that O, o option, so we deselect them. Uh, we're going to be selecting these faces, and we're going to just pull it down. Like so. And we're probably going to want to select these faces as well. Well, uh, not faces, um, vertexes. And we bring them down. Let me bring that out a little bit, I think. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, I'll just leave it. Alright. So that's looking a bit nicer. Okay, we're going to um, sculpt mode now. And I kind of want to smooth it out around here. Okay, maybe not. Uh, what we're going to do is click on this one, I think. We can try it. Uh, some detail in there. And then we're going to smooth it out. Because it's still looking a bit flat. Over here on the left hand side, uh, you will have um, symmetry, and that that would be ticked. I guess I've kind of forgot. Uh, note that it was turned off. So add a bit more in there. Build up the backside a little bit. 
don't worry, don't worry about it. Yeah, I know it isn't looking perfect, but we're going to smooth that out though. You know, to kind of give it a little bit, a little bit more detail. Okay, maybe I want to go in edit mode and um, bring these down. Can't, there we go. Yeah, bring them down. All right, okay, that looking a little bit better actually. Um, we're going to get the mod uh, we get the modifier tab back again because it. Ran, ran off somewhere. Alright, so we just add some chunky bits here and there. Uh, symmetry turn off again. To turn it back on. Alright, so we just add detail in. You know, don't worry about it. Just chuck it in. You know, at the moment we're just building up the um, the cloth, so don't worry about it. We, we'll add the wrinkles and creases like we did with the shirt in a bit. So it is. Are you going to add any more detail? Are you going to add any in there? No, okay. You don't want to. Alright, so we do go around. we smooth this out a little bit, you know. Just. No, so it kind of bulk up a little bit. Um, like so. Uh, we could add some clay strips into in here. It, they're going to let me. Why don't you? Add, uh, maybe I have to subdivide it a bit more. You going to let me add any detail in there? Okay, I see it over here on that part, but you won't actually let me add any in there. Is that a bug in Blender or something? Oh, turn off symmetry. Maybe it's something to do with that. No. Okay, it has been annoying. Now, they don't want to work for me. Alright, we just go over, we add some clay strips, so we kind of give it a bit more of a gene um, until type. Oh yeah, it probably would have been a really good idea to unwrap it first, but oh well, I forgot. We'll do that in a bit. Uh, like uh, like um, we did with the first one, we will probably add sh streams, seams where uh, it would actually have seams. is isn't actually deforming nicely around the leg at all for some reason. Don't know why that is. And uh, uh, some detail around here, just slap it around. Alright. Technically it should be adding it on the legs here, but it really isn't wanting any of it. We're going to smooth this out a little bit. We're going to tap to smooth it out. We ain't going to get rid of all the details. We do keep the pieces we like. Looks of. I don't really like that part, but that part there is nice. Smooth that out. Any um, pixelated areas you want to kind of smooth out so it isn't looking pixelated as well. That's one thing you want to do. So we're going to add some more clay strips and we're going to keep building it up. Keep building the detail up. Like so. And go over and smooth it again. Yeah, they're kind of looking like a little bit like a pocket there, so that's kind of cool. Let's go rid of that a little bit there. And we'll do the same around the back area. Um, so it's just, it's just more like a denim, like jean material. So. It's something a little bit different from the t-shirt, so we just kind of add layers on top of 
to each other and we want to add creases that are sharper um, kind of want to flatten out a little bit so on certain areas over here at the moment those areas are kind of added because they're looking funny right uh, now if we kind of go over and move it a little bit like so again Uh, uh, probably add some creases along here as well now because they're playing up a bit weird probably a good idea to just actually go over and add some creases in anyway so do we work the detail in there oh probably be a lot easier to actually do it with a tablet <laughs> with this with the mouse I got kind of got a mind of it own so try and do a straight diagonal line <laughs> going everywhere <laughs> uh, typical let's go around adding these pieces in a little bit like so don't worry about it you know just if you make a mistake you can always undo or build um, different details on top of it and blend it out so nothing is uh, set in cement at the moment so okay like so and you get you keep generally doing that out, um till you got something you're happy with you know we could actually add some creases around the pockets to make the pockets pop out a little bit more Like so, so it gives it a bit more of a definition where the pockets would be. Or you could actually have like a slit up here, and you do add the slit like that. What could technically be the pocket? Uh, we we'll blow that out anyway. Well, it wouldn't have two pockets like that anyway. So, and then um, you probably want some pockets on the back anyway. So. Like so. There we just blend that in. Like so. And you would do exactly the same on the side parts. I don't know why it isn't really letting me... I mean, I mean, you do exactly the same for the creases along the side. But it isn't actually letting me. Um, I'm not liking the way it isn't allowing me to do that. Not one bit. Okay. So that, I'm pretty happy with that for a pair of trousers. Um, one thing I should have told you before as well. And if I can... There we go. We got it. Right go into object mode um, pretty much make a seam all the way along here and here we get the seam cuts in here we remove them we don't need them but you will actually add a loop seam around here like so and the same thing for the bottom parts. We remove the parts in here, but we just add them in here instead, like so. So you do kind of work along where the seams would actually be on the clothes, just so you don't have to worry about um, making seamless textures because clothes technically aren't seamless. You know, you see seams on them. So we can do um, mock seams like so, 
So if we select all of that and unwrap, you got yourself your tra trouser layout here. Um, or you can organise it around here if you want. So you can try and get a bit more um, control around making things a bit bigger so that it can actually add a bit more detail into it. Right, you can rotate it if you want. You know, have one that looks up here. Rotate that one, have that one over here. Rotate that a little bit. Uh, drag this down. These parts really don't matter. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> because they won't be seen. Alright. Drag these up to here a bit more. Uh, drag these up. Select all of that. And just go up a little bit, you know, to make sure it kind of fit. You want to f make it as big as you can without changing the size of individual pieces. You want to scale it up uniformly and try and make sure that it's the biggest it can be so you can, and have enough space so it isn't going to cause well it doesn't matter actually if you have overlapping but you don't want it overlapping like that. That's going to be bad. Depending on what, what you're doing technically actually. Um, if you Using the game engine, it could be really bad because how they do the lighting. I know Unreal don't like overlaying um, textures. Uh, can actually rotate that. Put that about. Uh, not going to work quite right there. Could put it there there. Select these parts and. But move them off. So then you actually, well, when you sh actually make this bigger, what it does is it, it kind of makes it that you can add more detail because um, there will be more pixels. Um, bigger is more pixels can go in there. But then, yeah, it does um, also matter what texture resolution you're using. Always do power two. Like if you go down here. You, this is a default um, power of two with Blender, but you know instead of this part here isn't actually using um, 10.24. This bit here isn't actually just using 10.24. The whole texture is. So technically, this might be like five uh, five um, twelve or something like that. Five twelve by something else. I don't know sixteen or whatever. But yeah, so you kind of lay out the textures like that. And then if we actually copy paste this a couple of times. So you can have your level of detail as well. Uh, so we remove that one. We don't need that. We'll put this one down to 2. So it's a bit higher. Leave that one up as high as it is. Um, and now if we unhide everything from our seams, we can actually kind of technically just place it. Alright, if we go in object mode as well. Yeah, I'm kind of wrapping this to draw up a little bit now. So it does kind of put it in, in a t-shirt. Um, you may want to go around tweak certain those as well. So if we go in edit mode, we can actually... No, if you tweak this, you probably want all of them to be exactly the same, so you want to tweak it on the lowest resolution, but I'm just kind of demonstrating what you would do. Move it in like so, and you can kind of see it's... You know what I mean? Or you can actually move it up, or... Probably the best thing to do is, I think, because it is actually too wide. So we'll probably just scale that in. So you do scale that. Oh come on. 
Why don't you want to select things when I'm telling you to select things? Oh, it looks kind of scared that in, like, so. Like, I mean, and then you just move that up a little bit. And so you got yourself a pair of trousers, you got yourself a, a t shirt as well. But do it with the low, low resolution. Well, actually, technically, I could go, oh, uh, well. That one didn't work. That one isn't really working because I had to modify this one. Now I can actually do because I still got the modify up here. I can do copy and paste. Uh, so we got that one over there, but we removed the modifier on the wrong one. Select the right one, and we copy and paste it and so move this over here as well. Uh, we put that up. Uh, See, I don't like this. You copy and paste, right? You think technically you would be working on the options that you selected and copied and paste, but no, it's still got those options of the one before you copied and paste. But hey, that is kind of how you make. Well, that's how you make trousers. Hopefully, um, for you, you that you can actually model around here. I really have no idea why it wasn't letting me. Any any comments on why it wasn't letting me? model um, right there if, um, please let me know um, so yeah you got your like like if you are um, working on a mobile game this um, set here would actually be perfect for you uh, but if you're working on um, I don't know middle range uh, like PlayStation 3 graphics this stuff here will be good for you if you're working on next gen and stuff this stuff here is going to be alright for you um, but yeah you could actually the next gen might even next gen could actually use this set and this set and saying right when you about this far away show uh, the first set when you're about this far away show the second set and uh, when you're about here show the third set because um, it allows to save um, what you call it uh, resources that your PC don't have to load so much and put so much um, information into the video card and the CPU and all that, all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's definitely a good thing. Keep keep in mind is if you're working with games, level of detail is brilliant. You can have multiple level of detail. You can have a hundred level of detail if you really want. <laughs> but yeah, like I said in the previous one as well. Um, any because we unwrapped. Um, you can all actually. Uh, let me start again. You got your multi-resolution. You want to keep this right as a backup, so you can say, "Oh well, maybe I want add uh, less detail, or I want more detail." And then you apply. Make sure you have a file with level of detail on, so you can tweak it. But then, um, yet yeah, just say, "Okay, it's too high. I need to turn that down." You just turn it down, and then you kind of export that 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 object, but don't save over but the original. Because then you can always add, uh, you can always change back and forth. Uh, say, okay, export this one. So you go, okay, I want to export the latest one. I, I pretty much close, I, I remove that. Then I export it. Then, okay, I open up the other project file. What actually has the most resolution on? Okay, I need just one. What isn't so much um, resolution? We apply that. Export that. Then you actually either open the project up again or undo so you get your resolution back and then um, you say okay we need number three resolution we um, make sure on the highest resolution export that and so it allows easy workflow and another thing is actually having it unwrapped and you can actually texture this yeah I'll show you I've showed you in the previous one but I'll show you in here um, all this blue stuff you can kind of see that that just doubled if I undo that you see it now it's a lot lower so by applying that it says okay I want to apply the multi-resolution multi and it don't change the UVs the only thing it does change in the UVs is more polygons in the same area so you still got your texture uh, you could have your texture for your low resolution down here and it can work along all of them and you can also do level of detail with textures uh, do with uh, texture size sizes and you can always do 
bake from I think you might be able to bake from low resolution or well, from high high resolution down to low resolution. If not you can always um shrink the image in Photoshop and so that yeah, you you do lose detail but yeah actually shrinking it does somewhat help to keep detail as well, so it's kinda of weird. So that's one thing to keep an eye out for making level of detail stuff. I really need to make a level of detail video so I don't have to keep going over this but yeah I do understand as well if someone else comes in jumps in going oh okay I want to make clothes for my game you know and I, 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 I didn't want to watch the first one well I, I'm, you know I kind of get some talking like it's better it, it kind of better so you don't, you don't have to miss out you know you, you can do, jump into the video and know what I'm going on about and I'm kind of rambling and getting off topic here so yeah that's pretty much it for the tutorial um, I will um, save this project out if I remember if I don't I'll probably have to remake the trousers again and then but yeah um, what I will do is I will save this project out I'll put it up on the website as well so you can get hold of this um, and yeah thank you for watching um, please comment like or subscribe it really helps me out a lot um, so feel free feel free to use the uh, these models as, as you need to and stuff like that uh, I'm kind of chucking out there in the public domain all what I do ask is please don't do sell it as your own you know fair enough if you want to kind of put it in your own pack and maybe if you want to sell that fair enough you know I don't really have a problem with that but if you do kind of going oh well there's a closed set here where I can kind of sell with it oh, I kind of got a problem with that that's only the thing I'm saying um, another thing is if, if you do um, give crack credit uh really appreciate it but you don't have to but if you do brilliant um yeah again the resolution i keep changing by accident all right so i will upload these to uh, the website now so thank you for watching sorry for ram rambling on thank you very much um have a good day